Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Ivy and I have a grocery haul for you today. Um, this is my first grocery haul of the new year, if you will. It's after Christmas, not quite the new year, but I actually haven't gone grocery shopping since December 19th and it's December 29th today, I do believe. So 10 whole days without going grocery shopping. I will call that a win. Um, I have about $100, no I do not, I have about $200 worth of groceries here. I spent about $230, but I think about 20 of it was Christmas clearance and then I bought a $10 pair of jeans. So we're, we're running right at $200 here. Not too bad if you ask me, especially not having gone for 10 days. So um, up right up front, I wanna mention here, I am doing the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge. Um, my friend Mandy invited me to do it with them. So if you came over to my channel from the Three Rivers Pantry Challenge, I would love for you to tell me down in the comment box because I would love to meet all of you new friends um, that have come to my channel for this challenge. Um, I did this back in September. I did like the shelf timber type of thing and I absolutely love it. So when Mandy mentioned it, I was like, uh, yes, please, let's recoup some of our Christmas funds, spend less at the grocery store um, these first couple months of the year and get as much out of our pantries as we can. These winter months, especially where we live, we could have bad weather at any time. So yes, I wanna be stocked up, but at the same time, I know I have enough stuff in my pantry and freezers to get us through this winter season. So I'm excited to get on board with that. Um, at the end of this video, I'm going to walk you through some of the ideas I have for this week um, out of my pantry and freezer, kind of give you a little bit of a tour and give you some ideas of what I'm going to be doing. And then for the next at least two to three weeks, I'm probably going to be doing very similar things because my grocery hauls will naturally be smaller because I'm buying less things because I'm trying to use things up. And then probably about February-ish, then we are likely to have a massive haul to kind of recoup some of the stuff that we've gone through. So that's enough talk getting us started right here. Let's dive in and see what I picked up at the store this week. Here it all is as a whole. Um, everything I picked up, I'll walk you through item by item. I've got my Christmas clutter still over there on the table, but um, pretty, I mean, it's still kind of a decent size haul, I think, for $200. It's kind of sad to say. I know there was a point in time when my whole table was full for $200, but I did get some pricier items over here. So let's just dive in and see what I got. Okay, first up is two gallons of Whole Highland milk. Um, we were very low on milk, so glad to have that. Also, before I get too far, if you hear a bunch of weird noises, it's my dishwasher. Sorry, we live here. Um, <laughs> things are going to be noisy for the moment. All right, next, y'all, I am so excited about this. I have looked for these for years, literal years, guys. I'm so excited I found these. Um, we bought them for Christmas probably three years ago or maybe even more and I have not found them since. Um, they are limited edition but they are so good. I'm hoping they are as good as I remember them to be perfectly honest and I'm kind of ridiculous and got four because they're good until March and I thought okay we could have like one a month or something you know um, but that was oh this alone was a big expense because these are almost five dollars a piece so this alone was like twenty dollars. So we got twenty dollars here and thirty dollars $10 for the milk. So we got $30, our first two items jumping right in here. So that explains a lot, I think. Uh, these are for Sunday school breakfast. So the variety pack of donuts, everyone still loves them. So I still keep going for that. And I keep coming back to these big honey buns. Um, they love those as well. So again, these are both for Sunday school breakfast. Okay, up here at the top, I've got three bags of cereal. If you have been around a minute, you know I normally do a fruity, a healthy, and a chocolate. I did not. I did two healthy and a fruity because we are we really are trying to do better, eat healthier. Um, my teenage son is the main one that eats cereal, and my husband's like, dude, you got to quit eating the junky stuff. We got to get a little bit healthier. Yes, I realize most cereals aren't healthy anyway, but um, we're trying a little bit. We're trying to flip his switch a little bit. So we got some Honey Nut Cheerios, some Frosted Mini Scooters. Those are my preference. And I got the little bag because it's mainly for me. And then he, my teenage son, requested the Fruity Pebbles. So I got a smaller bag than I normally do. do. I get the humongous one normally. This one's the mid-size one, I think. 
Okay, uh, nothing healthy about this. <laughs> we just go through quite a bit of these tortilla chips. Aiden makes nachos quite often. I think Scotty eats them with his lunch. If we have leftovers, taco salad, all that kind of stuff. So Scotty goes for those. So we go through those tortilla chips pretty quickly, I feel like. Uh, pepper, just about out. I just refilled my pepper shaker. And so we have some pepper, but I just wanted to make sure we didn't run out. That's a necessity, of course. Ground cumin is one thing I ran out of. I needed it for my chicken chili. Didn't have it, and that was kind of a bummer, but it was still delicious nonetheless. Um, this was an impulse buy. Um, Tabasco Sriracha. Now, Scotty really likes Tabasco on like his frozen burrito. Actually, and I'm not even going to name things because Scotty likes Tabasco on just about everything. Um, and I just saw this. It was kind of expensive. It was almost $5. But if it's something he would enjoy and actually kind of like, then, you know, I thought I'd kind of treat him to that. What I was actually after was spicy ketchup because we all love spicy ketchup. The Whataburger specifically, I've tried a couple other kinds, but the Whataburger is the best. Okay, next Ritz crackers. We have gone through so many Ritz crackers this season with summer sausage. We have a bunch of deer summer sausage that we have definitely been enjoying throughout the season, but we are out of crackers and we still have some summer sausage to get through. Um, some lettuce, something green on this table. Hallelujah. Um, so we are going to have taco salad this week and I needed lettuce for that. Um, so picked up a head of iceberg lettuce and then potatoes again for the pantry challenge. I actually am out of potatoes. So I wanted to make sure to have at least one bag of potatoes because this is going to be a great staple. Um, plus they were on sale. They were like 420, um, 426 maybe. Um, I felt like that was a really good deal for the 10 pound bag. And I think I skipped. Oh, I'm okay. I just have this row to go back up. Uh, so my daughter, I actually got her a blender for Christmas and she loves making smoothies, but we were out of frozen fruit. So I got the strawberry banana blend, peaches and blueberries. Cause I think that this and that would be a good combo and this and that would be a combo. I don't know about all three of them together, but, um, I think she will enjoy that. And then I wasn't sure what yogurt to get, but this just sounded good. And it's sweetened with honey. I mean, I don't know, supposedly. I didn't look at the ingredients. Okay, I should have looked a little bit harder, but it sounds amazing. So I think it'll be good in her smoothies. That was the whole point of getting it. Moving on. Um, Taco Bell sauce. This is kind of a staple in our house as well. We love it on so many different things. Um, again, one of the things we're trying to stock up on. Next, we have some medium wing sauce. Um, Aiden has been really enjoying putting this on like nachos and stuff. And so we normally have it on hand for buffalo chicken dip, but, but um, he's used it on a lot more things lately. So I'm glad to replenish that for him. And then four cans of corn. Um, I had a little bit of a green bean debacle the last couple of grocery hauls. Um, but I didn't realize I was out of corn too. So now I have four cans of corn replenish and I am happy about that. Next, some coffee. All of us being home for Christmas break has deplenished our coffee. Um, we've actually been making pots of coffee because we are out of K-cups. So we are glad to have our house blend back and our normal coffee routine, routine can resume. Um, tissues because tis the season we are about to go through all of our toilet paper because we haven't had any tissues so i got a four pack of that so we can disperse them around the house also some of this equate cold and flu it's basically nyquil dayquil um it works just as good i promise you and you get like three times the amount in this box as you do in the dayquil nyquil brand so um it's a steal of a deal. No one's gotten that sick yet, thankfully, but I want to have it on hand just in case. We have been taking this elderberry syrup to help kind of combat it and get us, keep us from getting to that point, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I replenished this. Um, this is pretty pricey, but I feel like it actually does help to build and boost immunity. I also have some elderberry and zinc vitamin gummies that I've been taking. So I think they're helping to just kind of keep the edge off where we're not getting super sick. Also wanted to pick up some throat drops. Again, just in case we start getting that much sicker or whatever, we wanna make sure and have these. I could probably have used those multiple times. I've been using candy canes um, because we've got them hanging around. 
Um, we have all been enjoying these for probably about a year now. Um, I bought a couple different ones like from the Dollar Tree and stuff, but these are the ones Scotty prefers because they, um, they're super duper strong. The, the, the floss in the flosser is very strong and all of us have very tight teeth together. So, um, it, it just, these are the best ones for us. Like I said, we've tried several different kinds, but this is the one we keep coming back to. Speaking of teeth, we are out of toothpaste, so I picked up a two-pack of our favorite, the Crest 3D White Stain Eraser. Um, it's just our preference, what we've used for quite a long time. Uh, we were out of paper plates, so picked up a 100-pack of those. What I've been doing is splitting it in half, putting some up in the cabinet, and I feel like when the family thinks we have less, we go through them slower. I don't think anyone's within earshot to know that or to hear me say that. Um, and so that's actually helped me go through less paper plates is only by putting out a small stack at a time. So there's a mom hack for you that I have started to figure out. Um, I needed some all purpose cleaner. I actually bought some a week, few weeks ago, maybe that last grocery haul. I cannot stand the smell of it. It is, it was coconut sea salt or something. I can't do it. The smell lingers. So if you're looking for something that lingers, um, let me grab it. Okay, it's this. So the smell does linger. So if you're looking for something like that, it lingers, but I can't handle the smell of it. I don't know what it is about it. It reminds me of something that I don't like. So I decided to go with this one. The lid is like Fort Knox. I could not unscrew it to smell what it smelled like. But I think we have this down at the Airbnb. And I know for a fact that the um, Mrs. Myers, no, is it Mrs. Myers? No, 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 no. Method cleaner that I used that was grapefruit, I loved. Uh, Y'all, I'm probably just gonna have to get on Grove and order some all-purpose cleaners because the selection at Walmart is atrocious. They don't even have the um, great value all-purpose cleaner that I was finally found that I was liking. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, hopefully this one works though, because again, tis the season, we need to kill some germs, make sure everybody stays well. And while I've been on break, I've been doing a lot of laundry, so needed to replenish my borax and my laundry detergent. Nearly out of both of them. Thankfully, getting caught up on some laundry, that makes me feel a lot better. Okay, I think I got everything. Here's a view of it again. Now I'm going to show you my pantry and freezer really quickly and what I will plan on kind of cooking this week, my meal plan and what I'll use out of my pantry and stuff. All right, y'all. Hey there. It's been a few days, um, but I'm finally gone through my pantry, freezer, just kind of my overstock areas. And I honestly don't have nearly as much overstock as I thought I did. You know, when you, I, I, I rearranged my pantry and my freezer and it's just, everything was so cluttered and packed in there. So I definitely found a list of foods that I can make, recipes I can make, things I can make with what we have on hand. So I'm just going to start over here on this shelf and just kind of walk you through here, through my pantry, and then a glance in my freezer um, and just kind of talk through some food that I can make with what we have on hand. So um, I still think I can make it all the way through January. Um, and then when Mandy did her video, um, I didn't catch this when I watched the Three Rivers Challenge, but maybe I just missed it. Um, but you kind of can set your own rules. And so my thought is, um, so Mandy's doing $25 a week, <clears throat> which is awesome. And I want to do that. But I think you have to have $35 to do a grocery pickup. And I am not going in the store. So I will place orders based on the threshold for grocery pickup. But I know we're going to need milk every week. That's at least $10 every week. Um, I know I'm low on shampoo. Um, we're low on some other items. So I don't think $35 is going to be hard to hit. But I also think it's going to be really easy to stick to. So if that makes sense. Plus, I know the family is going to want some specific things. And I'm fine with that. Um, just like Mandy said, didn't ask them if they wanted to do this. This is just something I'm trying to do. Um, to get through the stock of stuff that we have. So my Three Rivers Challenge is gonna be modified over everyone else's, which I think is what makes this challenge so awesome because then you just find, kind of find somebody that you feel like you can follow that makes it attainable for you and stick with it. So anyway, let's jump in. I'm gonna show you the things that I have on my snack shelf here, what I plan to use up out of that, 
and then we'll just move on to the next and next and next. Okay, so here is my snack shelf. Um, just a quick overview. It's as organized as it can be, to be honest, at the moment. Um, up here, just bread. We're gonna be good on bread for a while. We don't fly through it, but, um, oh, I do have bacon. I meant to put that on the list. BLTs one night, because we have plenty of bread. Um, there's marshmallows in there, but nothing really to use those up for down here just some snacky stuff more snack stuff but I do have these two bags of Fritos so I have on here Frito pie and taco salad so that will definitely use up both of those bags of Fritos and then down here I have these saltine crackers so I'm gonna make meatloaf and then I have been wanting to make cracker candy for quite a while um, it's just super easy and it will use up a lot of crackers so we have, we'll have the Super Bowl party at the beginning of February. So I'm kind of thinking I'll use up at least a box for that. Bagels we're still working through. And then I have plenty of potatoes and onions to get me through the month. Okay, and then over to my pantry. Should I set this down? I feel like I'm kind of showing y'all. Um, so I have all of these cookie mixes back here, which I intended to use up at Christmas time. And then if you watch my Vlogmas, I just didn't really get a lot a lot of my baking and stuff done but peanut butter jelly this is just this is my this is kind of my overstock which is like the stuff <sighs> come on syrup get out of there the stuff I don't use hang on let me get here okay the stuff I don't use through like as fast you know but peanut butter we've got plenty of that um, this is a spicy ketchup ah, let me put this down okay uh, spicy ketchup regular ketchup salad dressing lime juice uh vinegar and apple cider vinegar back there then that's white white corn syrup regular corn syrup molasses which i was supposed to make gingerbread cookies which i still want to because they're my faves taco bell sauce buffalo sauce pickles um and then this is one thing that set off i'll be making mississippi mississippi roast and Mississippi chicken. Um, I've never done it with chicken, but we're gonna try it this month because I have some bone-in chicken thighs in my deep freeze that I wanna use up. And then Miracle Whip, lime juice, and then some protein shakes. <clears throat> okay, and then here, like I said, my canned goods. This thing was packed full, and so I went in and organized it, and it's like, oh, well. I don't have nearly as much stuff as I thought I did. So I do have these tomato soups. So I'm going to do tomato soup and grilled cheese. That'll be a nice dinner. And then I have these cream soups. So I'm going to make chicken and, nope, yeah, chicken and rice casserole, which I'll use up my, can whoa, a can of Rotel that I have here. Um, and then I'm going to make chili. So I'll go through a lot of these things. Um, was I saying tuna casserole I have two cans of tuna here I have black olives I have some canned mushrooms and I have a lot of deer steaks um, so I like making like mushroom gravy with like sauteed deer steaks and mashed potatoes so that's definitely something I can do um, I have some egg noodles but not very many that's my baking shelf we'll come back to that um, but egg noodles are cheap. That's something I can put in on my list to pick up for 35, my $35 budget. Um, but the tuna casserole will take egg noodles, but I could also do like a hamburger stroganoff since I have mushrooms. So that would be the two cans of mushrooms to use up there. Um, like I said, this is all my tomatoes. So tomato sauce, diced tomatoes. So that's going to be my chili. And then that Wolf Brand chili back there, I'm going to do Frito pie, but I also have some frozen chili that I think I'm actually gonna use for the Frito pie. Um, and then uh, cheese enchiladas, and then beans for the chili, if I make another pot of chili. Um, plenty of green beans and corn. This is pie fillings that I didn't use from Thanksgiving the holiday season so if I wanted to make a sweet treat I have plenty of things there um, pickled beets I'm set on that for the month and then two things of chicken broth which I ended up not using for Thanksgiving what's my date on chicken broth July July okay so these are pretty far out so but again if I make potato soup I can use up some of that and then oh wait, 
tuna, black olives. Those will be for the taco salad. <clears throat> okay, we're skipping baking for now. Down here, I'll take it off wide angle. Um, I have cornmeal so I can make cornbread with chili. I have these garden noodles, which would be like, I normally use them for pasta salad, but I don't know, I could use them, I guess. I've got plenty of penne pasta noodles and then some cream of wheat just because I have to keep all my stuff in a, in containers. <clears throat> Let's see, a few ramen packets, beans, we've got 15 bean soup, which I'll need to pick up sausage um, as part of my weekly budget to do that one week. And then I have lima beans and I actually might put this in the crock pot for tomorrow because I have a little bit of ham left from Christmas and I want to use that up before it goes bad or I need to throw it in the freezer for another week or so. Okay, and then popcorn, is that really popcorn? Yes. And brown rice, so I could do that. I'm gonna do like baked chicken with brown rice and vegetables. I have white rice, that's what I'm gonna do. My chicken casserole, we already talked about those egg noodles. Okay, my baking shelf, I have plenty of flour. Again, if you watch Vlogmas, you know I did not get through the baking that I wanted to. This is actually powdered milk, oh, and Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> um, and almonds so anyway majority of it's powdered milk so if worse came to worse we couldn't get to the store um, if we get a big winter storm or something I do have powdered milk in there that's always a great thing to have on hand especially for the winter months um, sweetened condensed milk crushed pineapple plenty of chocolate chips pudding mixes in there almond flour so I've got plenty of sweet treats I could make if I wanted to clear some more of that out Okay, and this one is just cereals, oatmeal, oatmeal. Um, those are just repurposed containers, but they have like bags of cereal that have barely anything in it. And then that one has like my gravy mixes and stuff that I'll use up for my Mississippi roast. And now to my freezer. Ouch. Okay, it's a wreck, I know. But I know what's in here. So these are actually dog treat food so it's already boiled meat so we pull them out like one at a time thaw them out and like over two weeks usually we just give them to the dogs as snacks <clears throat> so those those won't get consumed very quickly um, and then we've got lots of frozen fruit to get us through the month for smoothies and stuff we have a lot of summer sausage we had a ton of deer meat made into summer sausage so that is nice quick lunches and stuff and then we've just got some ground meat down here um, this is turkey left from Thanksgiving, so I'll probably make a casserole or something with that. And then lots of chicken breasts that are random in here. I said I kind of cleaned this up, didn't I? Um, lots of blue and gold sausage from the FFA, but they came to us frozen and they're humongous. I wish they would have been thawed and I could have packaged them into smaller packages, but we can do breakfast for dinner one night. I, if I do it closer to the end of the month, I can use part of it to make cheese dip for the Super Bowl party. So we'll go through that. I also have this sausage and some biscuits so we could do some breakfast sandwiches for dinner one night. I've got a package of french fries. We've got some cookies from a school fundraiser. I want those out of my freezer. So that's on my list to make. Um, some more turkey right here. This is that frozen chili I want to use up. And then down here we've got craisins and a few popsicles, but there's also frozen bananas somewhere in there and I wanna use those up and make banana bread. Again, more frozen fruit. I have two pot pies and then a few breakfast sandwiches. So this ought to get pretty cleaned up by the end of the month. I also failed to say sorry about the noise my dishwasher's going. <laughs> sorry we live here, but um, Anyway, that's it. That's everything in my pantries, pantry, freezer. My freezer is outside, actually. Um, I have all my meat in. So the meat that I don't have in here, this is what I want to use up first. That's my first goal, um, is use up the meats in here. But my roasts and things like that are out in the, the freezer out there. But when I, a few weeks ago I cleaned out my deep freeze out there, um, I found a little bit older meat. I want to make sure and use that up first as well. So that's all part of this challenge too, is using up my oldest like deer meat first and get through that. And then I did find a bag of cereal out there and two frozen pizzas. So um, we're pretty good. I, I'm not as stocked up as a lot of people, 
but I feel really good about being able to get through this challenge with what we have on hand. And I'm actually really excited about it. Um, I love doing shelf timber. I think that went really well. Um, I went through a lot of things during that month and I think this is going to be even more beneficial. Again, it's the winter months. I don't want to get out as much. I want to recoup some money from Christmas shopping and spending. So I'm just really excited to see what we're going to get. Um, I will say too, in my fridge, I have my fridge is in a wreck and we're not going there. Okay. Um, but I do have a, some veggies in there and stuff that I picked up in my last haul. So we're pretty good on vegetables, but I'll pick up the fresh stuff weekly. So that's another thing to state. Okay. So here's my list. I'm pretty sure I walked through all of this, but tuna casserole, meatloaf, taco salad, Frito pie, or cheese enchiladas. And I might use the frozen chili for Frito pie. So I still would do cheese enchiladas. Um, but I definitely want to use up that frozen chili. Breakfast sandwiches, potato soup, Mississippi roast, sweet and sour chicken. Oh, I need to put those beans on there. Okay, I, remember, I don't remember where it was. Um, sweet and sour chicken, fried rice. I have vegetables in the freezer. I don't think I talked about that. So vegetable fried rice. Um, probably not together. So I would probably try and find maybe like cut up some deer steak and do like beef and broccoli or something. Oh, I didn't have any frozen broccoli though. So I don't know. We'll figure out. Maybe I'll do them together. Who knows? Um, baked chicken and brown rice, banana bread, steak and mushroom gravy. Um, turkey and rice casserole, Mississippi chicken, hamburger stroganoff, tomato soup and grilled cheese, 15 bean soup, and lima beans and ham. So there's my goal. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 meals. So um, that really honestly might last us the month between basketball games and um, the amount of time we're not home and we have to eat out and stuff. So this might be enough meals to get us through the month. So this is going to be a good challenge. I'm going to use up exactly what I need to be able to use up. Um, I will have a grocery haul each week. I will probably show you the things that we have gone through as far as like, okay, these are the meals we used. This is how everything. So maybe just a quick update on my pantry and freezer every week. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about it. So if you're excited about this challenge, make sure you leave me a comment down in the comment box. If you're participating in the challenge, leave that comment as well. Um, cause I would love to go check out your videos. And if you came over because of this challenge, I would love to know that as well. So thank you so much for coming along with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up, leave me those comments that I mentioned down in the comment box. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you have not already, so you don't miss any of my future content. You want to see how this whole challenge goes, make sure you're subscribed. So thank you. I love you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.